Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> travel day again, but we're not going to bore you too much with us traveling to new destinations. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. journey. Hey, so we just checked in and we're staying in iHome Hostel. So this place we've seen so far is really nice. It's massive room. Everything seems brand new in here actually. The bathroom is nice, it's clean, it's tidy, the Wi-Fi is good. It's in a good place in Hatiai, really close to the crane st train station, not far from the bus station. So a good place to stay. We're happy with this one, really happy with this one. Uh, we are uh, in queen size room and we are paying 130 pounds for seven nights so that is not too bad we also been given a lot of drinking water the bathroom is brand new very spacious all rooms are very spacious too so you have plenty of space for your luggage and even to study or do some work so perfect location good price nice and clean what more you can what else do you want nothing uh and you've already seen around this area there's so much food so we're in the perfect yes. spot for breakfast tomorrow mm. we've already seen where we want to go there's so much more street food here than where we stayed previously i'm so excited to get out around here so much food i'm looking forward to it yeah so stay tuned crabby we're coming let's go <laughs> danny strongman <laughs> Yeah, Danny have to carry these suitcases five flights of stairs because there's no lift in this place but we highly recommend this place guys this is the best internet we had on our trip so far so that's really good you know how internet important how important internet is for us um, also the place is spotless clean it's brand new it's right on the walking street of Hatia as well surrounded with amazing restaurants, loads of restaurants, loads of street food, nightlife, close to the train station, walking distance, uh, 120 baht, tuk-tuk ride to bus station. So yeah, it's all good. There's also beautiful communal area as well. There's lovely welcoming lady as well. So Adika! There is also a security lock, so basically you can enter only with the card key, which is really good. You've got available umbrellas as well for the guests. It's a shame we have to leave. I absolutely love Hatiai, guys. I absolutely love the locals in here. The people are so friendly. They are so nice and genuine. I think the people always make your stay. And not only people actually, the food as well. So food was super good in Hat Yai. So overall, really, really good to stay. Shame we had to leave because we were already thinking about staying here longer. But we are on the way to Krabi now. We're staying in Krabi town. We don't have a hotel yet. So this is last minute planning. Last night we realized, oh no, we haven't booked anything yet. So yeah, we still got nothing. We couldn't decide where to go. So we might book something on the bus or we might book something when we get there. <laughs> we will see. This one's tiny. <laughs> 80 baht to get to the bus station, which is really good actually. We paid 120 to get here before. Ah, we do. But we are in a tiny one. <laughs> one more thing. One more thing I would like to add about Hat Yai. Very positive thing. The taxi drivers do not rip you off here. Yeah, they charge you, they charge you a reasonable price. We're paying 80, 80 bar for what would take us 25 minutes to walk, which is really, really good. In Phuket or anywhere else, you would not pay that much. You would probably pay 300 bar minimum. So yeah, that's another, another plus for Hat Yai.
breakfast first. We came to a creamy thick. So we officially made it to Krabi. The 